Hello, this is Artem from Xerial and in today's video I'm going to demonstrate how to export individual bodies from all components in the assembly into frame formats such as step, IGES, parasolid, etc. And if the body is a sheet metal body, it's going to be exported to a flat pattern in a DXF or DWG format. In case of the multi-body parts, all bodies will be exported individually to the separate files. I will also demonstrate how to export the bodies from all configurations of each part. This assembly here contains several parts, most of them are sheet metal, but there are also some parts which are just solid bodies. So those parts contain some custom properties, so for example, if I'm going to activate the properties grid, I'm going to see all references here and I can see there is a part number custom property and let's say I want to use that part number in order to export all the files. For the flat patterns you can use Cut plus tool set and export flat pattern feature. You have an option to select the filters and you can customize the flexible naming. However, it's not possible to export solid bodies to non sheet metal format and it's also not possible to iterate all configurations to export individual flat patterns from each of the configuration. In order to achieve my goal, I'm going to use this macro from CodeStack, which is based on Macro Plus framework and it's utilizing the flat pattern export APIs to produce the result I'm looking for. We'll start by creating a new macro and saving it to my hard drive. I'm just going to call it export bodies. Now I need to paste the code I copied from a Costec website. This macro consists of two parts. I also will need to add another class module, which is called custom variable value provider. So I'm just going to copy that name. And I'm just going to create a new class module over here. Paste the name from a clipboard. And I just need to now copy the code and paste it into my class module. Finally, I need to add a couple of type libraries into my macro. So let's go to Tools References, navigate to Installation folder of Cut Plus Toolset. So let's select this library first. So this one is a Cut Plus Toolset com API for SolidWorks. Let's browse another type library. This one is called xerial.cutplus.macroplus. So this one is macroplus com API for Cut Plus Toolset. So now we can save our macro and now we can run this from Cut Plus Toolset framework. We can host this macro in a toolbar plus or we can automate the running for all files using the batch plus utility. So I just add this macro to our macroscope. Now we can provide an argument to our macro to specify what files we want to export. We can use a flexible naming using one of those placeholders. So for example, if I want to use a part number custom property for file naming, I can just select this one here and I need to specify the extension. I can also place the output into the subfolder. So let's place all the files into the MFG subfolder. Let's copy that and create another output. So in this case, we're going to export the flat pattern to DWG format. So this completes the setup of the macro. We have also additional options for the filtering. So for example, if we only want to process part components, and let's, for this demo, only process uh, top-level components. But you can process all components in the assembly if you want. So let's click green tick, and now the batch process is started. We can track the progress in this report dialog. You can see all the files being processed and the output results. If you have any issues, they're going to be displayed in the report. So you can see each file has produced two files, one for step, one for DWG. So this one has a warning. You can see that DWG was not processed. You can click on this question mark button and it was not processed because the sweep body in this module is not a flat pattern, is not a sheet metal, so it was skipped. Let's quickly inspect the result. So I'm just activating the folder where my assembly is. You can see there is a subfolder for MFG and here is all the resulting files. As you can see, they are named after the value of custom property part number. Let's now run another use case. So some of the files in this assembly have multiple configurations. So for example, this file over here has several configurations and this file here as well. In order to export all configurations from those components, we don't even need to modify the macro and we can use the feature in batch plus, which will automatically activate each configuration for us and run the macro. So let's firstly use the selected components option. I'm just going to select a couple of components I want to process. So this is the ones which I just uh, shown to you, which have multiple configurations. Now we can enable this option over here to process all configurations individually. 
and we can also modify the arguments. So I'm just going to clear my previous arguments and provide a new file naming. So I'm going to use a file name, also dash. And now we're just going to use a configuration name because this would allow us to generate unique files for each body from each configuration. We can also use a custom variable called body name, and this one is going to be replaced by the corresponding body name in our file name. So let's now export it to a different format. So let's say IGES. I'm just going to copy that and create another export. And this one is going to be our DXF file. So it's going to be a flat pattern. Now we can click on green tick to start the process. Similar to previous export, we have a report, but now it's going to activate each individual configuration and export it separately. So you can see there is an expand button here and you can see each file has sub configurations and we can inspect what files have been produced. So very similar, the files which are not flat patterns are going to be marked as warning and will not be exported to DXF, but all of the files are going to be exported to IGES. So let's now activate our folder and check the result. As you can see, all files have been produced according to our specified name template. So let's just activate several flat pattern files and see how they're different in different configuration. So I'm just going to use e drawings to preview them. So you can see there are three configurations exported. And if you activate, you can see they have a slightly different geometry as per the configuration of this sheet metal file. Thank you for watching this video. Please find the link to the macro in the description.